I've been taking gymnastics classes and working on my splits. You want to see? Oh, oh, whoa. Uh, still got, still got some work to do. Welcome to GMAT Tuesdays. My name is Kevin, and today we're working on another tip. Uh, tip number three for sentence correction, and the tip is solve with splits, but not the splits that I just did, different types of splits. Um, let me get my pen. So the key to sentence correction, one of the keys I should say, not the key, but one of the keys is to split the answers and eliminate groups. So you're always going to be able to split up your answers into different groups, figure out which group is wrong, and get rid of it. This is super efficient because it means you don't have to read everything that's there. You just find what's different in the answer choices, group them together based on the differences or their similarities, and then eliminate the wrong groups. Boom. Super easy. Um, there's two different types of splits. There's two, three splits and one, two, two splits um, to look for. And oftentimes there's multiple splits within a set of answer choices. So. For example, you might be able to group it into a 2-3 split and a 1-2-2 two, two split. I would say if you split it into 2-3 and you don't see what might be wrong, go to the other split and see if you can find something that's wrong with that, the other split. Um, and then you can go back to your 2-3 and work on uh, what is right and what is not right. To illustrate this point, I'm going to give you just the answer choices and we're going to be able to see where the right answer is. Um, so this came from the OG13, and it's question number 54. Hold on, let me check. Yes, yes, question number 54, sorry. Um, and so look for differences between answer choices and similarities. So the first thing I see here is should, 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 and then eliminate, eliminate. So I have a two, three split. Maybe I know that I need should in this sentence. So I would eliminate D and E very fast. Maybe I know I don't need should in this sentence. Eliminate A, B, and C, and then I'm left with D and E. Look how fast I just got to just two answer choices. Even if I just guess here, 50-50 chance of getting it right, super awesome. Um, but let's continue and look for other splits. I won't dive too deeply. So also A, B, and C, everything is the same at the very beginning. It should eliminate unneeded beds. And then the dot, dot, dot here means that it's the same. Um, and then I can see at the end, stuff is changing. And I do notice now too that my answer choices have a list. It's a list of things, three things being listed. Um, so let's see what the difference is. We have use space in other hospitals. We have other hospital space, so those two aren't the same yet. Uh, to use space in other hospitals, none of those are the same, so it's actually different, different, different. Um, and then if we continue down and look for more, we can see other hospitals, space, oh, that's the same, so B and D are the same. And then we have use, to use, and here we have use space in other hospitals, so actually, here we have, I was wrong, there's a two, one, one, one. That's not useful. Um, but let's look at what we have here and we'll probably be able to figure out what is right and what is not right. What do we know about parallelism? Anyone? We know that structures have to be parallel, especially in lists. So for example, if I'm saying should eliminate, and I left out here, sorry, there's not enough space to write, but there's another should for A, B, and C, if you're gonna have two shoulds, you have, should have another should. You should have should, should, and should. But you can see all three of these don't have a third should. So we can actually eliminate A, B, and C. Also, there's another thing that's left out of here. I'll mention that in a second. Now I have D and E. Just based on my knowledge of keeping things in parallel in lists, I can choose a correct answer. Here I have eliminate, comma, consolidate, and other hospitals. So it's verb, verb, now. Here is eliminate, consolidate, use. Verb, verb, verb. Oh, that's the answer. Bam, done. 
The other thing that I said that I would mention is that A, B, and C, um, these are wrong as well because there's a, a word that comes before this blank, or excuse me, before the underlined place. It says we recommend, or they recommend, or I recommend. And so you wouldn't use should and recommend in the same sentence because they mean the same things and it's very redundant. Okay, so uh, we found the right answer because all we had to do is look at the answer choices and break them into groups and eliminate the wrong groups. All right, that's all I got. Uh, be excellent to the universe, and I'll see you next Tuesday.